Low head dams have been called drowning machines because every year many deaths result from people being caught in the recirculating water at the base of such dams. In the 19th century, these dams served as power for many essential industries. During the last century, they were also a major source for hydroelectric power, but over time, most such dams have become obsolete, and in many cases, their designs make them extremely dangerous for swimmers and boaters. Some dams are marked, many are not. When traveling on a river, you must always be on the lookout for a horizon line across the river. Trees and people may appear to be cut off. Seeing such a line means that you must immediately get over to the side of the river so that you can portage the dam. Even though a dam may appear benign, they are death traps and should never be run. The Illinois Paddling Council makes a dam simulator available to local organizations. This lip, uh, and we can demonstrate with ple plexi panels, so just a sheer plexi sheet here will generate a hydraulic. But this will generate a really good hydraulic, so it really is a drowning machine. My nice, I don't know whether to call that a natural ledge or an old broken down rubble dam. One or the other. A little bit new. Float in the dam. Also got some little, uh, little kayaks. This one's not quite finished yet. I need to do some more carving. Little people with uh, screaming faces that to drown in the dam. We can put them in the canoe and send them over the dam. And for debris, uh, in addition to the pieces of wood that look like trees, I've got some little wooden tires, because after all, you always see a bunch of tires in the river. So you can throw those into the hydraulic and have them circulate with the little people and the trees. And also, rocks demonstrate that if you backfill these old dams with uh, grout bags or boulders or something that won't get washed down in a flood, you can break up the hydraulic and make them safe. That's what was done uh, on Brookfield Dam, uh, Little Falls Dam on the Potomac in Washington, D.C. The Army Corps of Engineers came in with these bags of grout about the size of an automobile used a crane to stair step them. They packed them in against the dam so it stair steps down, completely broke up the hydraulic. You can paddle right up to Brookmont Dam now safely, whereas before they did that it was a killer and, and it uh, usually grabbed at least one or two people a year and I think one year we had five people die at Brookmont Dam.
one of the most ironic things about dams is that they are frequently some of the most beautiful features on any river.